It's quite a funny story actually. Myself and my business partner, Paul, we met, funnily, both ex-military. A lot of people think that we, we met in the army, but we didn't. Actually met working in the private security space, of, of all things. I left the military, became a freelance trainer, so I was teaching um, various courses, hence being in the training space. But whilst I was doing that, I was also working um, in close protection, sort of uh, looking after various celebrities and things like that. So met Paul doing that. We were both looking after some, some pop stars at the time. Got chatting to Paul, really got on well. And Paul said to me, he said, oh, uh, we'll stay in touch. You know, I'm, I'm about to go on a course to be a trainer. I went, oh, I'll do that. I said, I'm a freelance trainer. I said, oh, if you need any, any support, any, you know, any notes, any top tips, give me a shout and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. So Paul, you know, we sort of parted ways from, from the event that we were, we were uh, attending. And Paul uh, reached out to me while he was on the course. And he said, John, I'm sat here. He said, there's like 20 people on this course. Paid a fortune to be here. He said, they're, you know, they're running like 15 of these a year. He said, look, we can be freelance trainers, you know, earn, 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 a, earn a, a nice living and, and things like that. He said, do you want to set up a training company and we'll just do it ourselves? And I was like, you know, naive back then. I was like, yeah, that'd be easy enough, that. So, you know, start, start a business. So yeah, we started from a, a room in a house with our budget business cards. I still remember and one of our clients, who's still a client today, our original client, uh, a lady called Gemma Tracy from a, a hotel in Solihull. Uh, she's now moved on and, and is with Champneys House Spas, who's one of our clients. When we first started the business, Paul and I were the trainers. And we always say that we were trainers trying to run a training company and it was a fast learning curve you know we had to learn business uh, we we're part of a, a business accelerator um, which was then called entrepreneurial spark it's now called natwest power up and that's where we sort of learned our trade as such you know we, we learned business skills we had mentors and and the sort of the business element of it really sort of uh, sort, sort of grew from there as i say paul and i were out you know doing all the training ourselves as most people will know, if they've started a business, that you know you wear all the hats, your marketing, your accounts. Uh, so when we first started, Paul and I were out and about dropping leaflets, and we actually designed the leaflets through a very well-known sort of budget leaflet design uh, website. And the first batch came through, and we thought, great, these are amazing. You know, opened them all up, looked at them. I think we used clip art back then. We noticed some errors. There's some typos on there. So oh, we look professional here, you know. So we we ordered a, a whole bunch again. They turned up. No, it's another error. So final batch, we thought like, this is it. And it was actually at the time, because it was so early in the business, you know, there was no funds in the, in the business at the time. It was almost, that was the last batch that we, we could have now because we couldn't afford to order any more. And we found one small typo on there, but we had to go, we had to roll with it. And Gemma Tracy, I think it was about three years later, literally sent us a picture of the leaflet that we did, we dropped into her. And, she, and, her, and her quote below the message was acorns to oak trees, like how far you guys have sort of, sort of come, you know? So it was a, it's quite an interesting journey. And, and Paul and I went on that journey together of going from trainers to being, you know, essentially businessmen running a, a business, learning our, our trade, learning the industry, and then eventually going from face to face to online and a hybrid approach of, of, of both face-to-face -face and online training. And that's where the business was born from really and, and sort of grew from there. The biggest lesson really for me was you're not going to know everything yourself, whether it's business, whether it's whether it's a training world, you know, this, we're still learning. There's a lot to learn. We've learned a lot, but we're, we're still learning. And it's it's actually learning from others. So whether that's a mentor, you know, ultimately you, or you want to learn from two people really, someone that's been there and done it and, and you know and is walking in the shoes that you want to walk in but also having someone that's essentially younger than you has a fresher perspective on things in that space as well and, and learning from both of those those individuals I think mentors for me was huge mentors and partnerships for me I think you know partnerships build empires so partnering with the right people where it's it's almost you know you're supporting them they're supporting you really helped us uh, and still does today. We have some you know, fantastic partners that, that offer our courses to their to their clients. So yeah, but learn learn from others because yeah, if you're the most knowledgeable person in the room, then you're you're in the wrong room, and that that really helped us.